a very common thing to do when you're setting up a website is to submit your sitemap. Now, it may seem like complete common sense, but believe it or not, a lot of people are not actually doing that. Um, now, is it hugely important to submit your sitemap? Well, Google will probably get to your website and crawl through your internal link instruction and your navigation anyway. But to quicken that process, here is how you would submit a sitemap. Now, basically, you've got WordPress in most cases. If you don't, then you, you, you're going to have to use a sitemap building tool, which you can add to your website. And that is one way of doing it. But most of you will be using WordPress. And if you're using the likes of All-in-One SEO or Yoast or whatever it's going to be, typically now they have their own inbuilt XML sitemap generator so that anytime you publish a blog or a post, that sitemap URL is updated automatically, saving you a lot of hard work and effort. Now, that's doing all of that from a WordPress point of view. Your sitemap URL stays the same, but you do want to go into your Google Search Console, just go down to sitemaps and make sure that you submit your sitemap here. Um, and it will tell you how many URLs are discovered. And that's it, it's really as simple as that. You just go in, add new sitemap and enter that there. Now, <coughs> that is, as simple and easy as it may seem, people are not doing that. And why would you want to do that through Search Console? Well, you want Google to be able to get to your content quickly and efficiently. And just highlighting your sitemap to Google is one of the first things that I would do. It's one of the reasons why Search Console is one of the first videos on this course. So submit that sitemap there and then let your all-in-one or your Yoast or whatever automatically up your site map, uh, automatically update your site map, map in the back end of WordPress and you don't need to do anything else from that point. You can just go away and build links to your URLs and everything else. So that is essentially how you would build a site map. Add one other thing um, to the mix on site maps video site maps and video site map alternatives. So guidelines for video site maps you can create a separate sitemap just for your video and you simply go in and create another sitemap URL for your videos or anything else that you want to have on your website. And you go back in to Search Console and just submit that separate video sitemap or whatever it may be. So don't be scared to have a sitemap separate for videos. Um, that is something that a lot of people do do. So you can use your imagination and other sitemaps that you can create. And it's just, again, giving Google a map to the content on your website to make it simple and easy for them. So again, just go into your Google Search Console and sort that out.